Right, this is a word problem. And I love on word problems when they give us complicated numbers like one fourth and three fifths, just substituting in numbers that I'm really familiar with. Easy numbers to add, multiply, divide, subtract. So it says the distance around the track is one fourth of a mile. I'm actually going to circle that number and I'm going to change that right now from one fourth of a mile to, um, I don't know, let's make it five miles. The distance around a track is five miles. It's a, it's a long track. Long track. Um, Courtney ran around the track twice. I'm going to circle that. Anytime you have key information, I would circle it. Um, she ran around the track twice. That's got something to do with numbers. Uh, and then she ran home, which is another three fifths of a mile. We'll say that that's um, we'll say that's ten miles. Another ten miles. Courtney's a long distance runner, I guess. Um, how far did Courtney run it off? Well, if she ran around the track twice, we could do um, two times. The distance around the track, which is 10, um, 10 miles when you multiply by 5. And then we could add that with the um, the 10 miles that she ran to get home. So this would equal 10, and we'd add the 10 miles that she took to get home, and that would equal 20. Um, alternatively, we could solve this a different way. Anytime you have the word twice, that means times 2 or just a number added by itself. So she ran around the track once and that was five miles, and then she ran around again, and that was five miles, so five plus five, and then the distance to go home, we still get 20. Now, of course, our real answer isn't 20 because they use fractions, right? But what this does is helps me realize what operations I need to use. Clearly, I need to use, I could either use multiplication and addition or just addition the whole time, right? So I'll, I'll do that just to keep it simple. Same operation the whole time. One fourth plus one-fourth plus three-fifths. All right, so that would be our total distance ran. And one-fourth plus one-fourth, that's pretty easy to add. You don't have to change the denominators. That's two-fourths. And then you add that with three-fifths, and that will equal, um, well, we can't figure this out, huh? We need a common denominator. So I'm just going to slide this work over here. Two fourths and, and three fifths. I think the best denominator would be twenty. That's the least common multiple of four and five. And to get from four to twenty, I multiplied by five. So I multiply my numerator, which was two by five as well. So we have ten twentieths. That makes sense because that would simplify to one half, and so would two fourths. And then we got to change the numerator on the other fraction. And on this other fraction, I multiplied 5 by 4 to get 20. So I got to multiply my numerator, which is 3 by 4. And if you do 3 times 4 over here, you would get uh, 12, right? So we get 12 twentieths. And now you can add up the numerators. So 10 plus 12 equals 30, or not 32, 22. And the denominator will stay the same. That remains 20. And so we get 22 twentieths. If you simplify that, that's equal to really 11 tenths. And um, we want to make this a mixed number, right? So it'll be one and one tenth miles that Courtney ran around the track, all right? Always a good idea. Go back and make sense of the problem. Um, she ran less than one mile twice, and then she ran less than one mile home. So I think that we should get an answer that's like less than two miles, and we did in this instance, so that makes sense.